Mattel Laboratories and I joined up in Bellingham, Washington. There were four piles saturated with uh, diesel and other petroleum waste. One was a control pile. One, one, one pile was treated with enzymes. One pile was treated with, uh, was treated with bacteria. And our pile, we inoculated with mushroom mycelium. The mycelium absorbs the oil. So the mycelium is producing enzymes, peroxidases, that break carbon-hydrogen bonds. These are the same bonds that hold hydrocarbons together. So the mycelium becomes saturated with the oil, and then when we return six weeks later, all the tarps were removed, all the other piles were dead, dark, and stinky. We came back to our pile, it was covered with hundreds of pounds of oyster mushrooms, and the color changed to a light form. The enzymes remanufactured the hydrocarbons into carbohydrates, fungal sugars. Some of these mushrooms are very happy mushrooms, they're very large. They're showing how much nutrition that they could have obtained. But something else happened, which is an epiphany in, in my life. They sporulated, the spores attract insects, the insects laid eggs, eggs became larvae, birds then came bringing in seeds, and our pile became an oasis of life. Whereas the other three piles were dead, dark, and stinky, and the PAHs, the aromatic hydrocarbons, went from 10,000 parts per million to less than 200 in eight weeks. The last image the, we don't have, the entire pile was a green berm of life. These are gateway species, vanguard species, that open the door for, uh, for other biological communities. So I invented burlap sacks, bunker spawn, and putting the mycelium using storm-blown debris. You can take these burlap sacks and put them downstream from a farm that's producing E. coli or other waste, or a factory with chemical toxins, and it leads to habitat restoration. So we set up a site in Mason County, Washington, and we've seen a dramatic decrease in the amount of coliforms. And I'll show you a graph here. This is a logarithmic scale, 10 to the eighth power. is more than 100 million colonies per gram. And 10 to the third power is around 1,000. In 48 hours to 72 hours, three, these, three, these three mushroom species reduce the amount of coliform bacteria 10,000 times. Think of the implications. This is a space conservative method that uses storm debris, and we can guarantee, be guaranteed that we'll have storms every year.